Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be looking at this little Rough Rider. It is a uh, sile belly. I say little, but it's pretty big. And a uh, beautiful knife, as you can see. Um, this is a pretty good example of a Rough Rider. And um, if you'd like to hear more about it, see a little bit more of this knife, go ahead and check out the video. <laughs> you sent me a smoochie picture? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Because he's so funny looking. Hey, um, welcome back to the Fortified Castle. And um, we're going to be talking about this cool knife today. I want to say hi to all my viewers. Bonjour, Privet, Guten Tag, Hola, Ciao, and Konnichiwa to my forum viewers. And so I uh, got a uh, new Wasp Series Rough Rider knife today. Well, it wasn't today, it was yesterday. And uh, that's the price I paid for it, $16.99. And I uh, love these boxes. But um, this is the knife we're going to be looking at. Alright, so it is a uh, sow belly with very attractive G10 scales on there. I really like this series, but I got a funny little story to tell you about this. Um, the knife is 3 inch order three quarter inches long. I think that's about the perfect uh, EDC knife for me. Not too heavy. Um, G10 scales, brass pins, uh, brass liners, and you've got a black liner underneath the G10 right there. You can see it. So uh, that's kind of cool. Kind of sets it off. Really attractive looking knife. Get the uh, Rough Rider logo there. I don't mind it. You have a pinch bolt bolster and then uh, threaded bolsters. So they're both pinched and threaded. Very attractive knife. I'll give you a shot there. So there are gaps in this liner, but they're they're not very apparent. So you don't really see them except maybe a little bit there. It's really hard to pick them up. Pretty good job overall so let's take a look at the blades your main blade is overall three and nine sixteenths inches with a cutting edge of of um three and seven sixteenths inches pretty nice nice little matchstick nail nick there swedge make a good little edc knife See the China, this is RR2262 is the model number. Look at the transitions there, really good. Look at that, it's perfect, it's perfect. Really good transitions on the knife. So um, the funny story is, <clears throat> I've been looking at these uh, Wasp uh, style or Wasp Fury knives for a while and um, kind of trying to decide whether I wanted one or uh, not and um, I like them right but one of the things that appeals to me if you look at this box it's really yellow and if you look at a lot of the videos on these knives they're really yellow like this yellow right here and that's why I bought this knife is uh, I like that you know, so I wanted to get that yellow. But if you look at this knife, what is the color that just stands out to you, right? It's green. So, um, yeah, that's kind of a funny story. I mean, the only reason I bought the knife is for the yellow. And it has a really green hue to it. You can see nice uh, sheep's foot blade there. That's a good size for a sheep's whip blade, too. Get a stock on it. It's about two centimeters, the saw. A little less than an eighth of an inch. Plenty. More than you need. But, yeah. Look at that. But I'll tell you, after I got this, and after my initial disappointment, I decided, you know what, I kind of like that green, too. So, um, I'm good with it. Look at the... I wanted it to be yellow. Yeah, that's okay. 
I like the green. What do you guys think? I, I kind of I like it, especially the way that it's done. You've got really heavy yellow here and then green. Uh, maybe that's something new they're doing. I don't know. But I, I like it. This is a good knife, guys. Hope you found the video informative. Um, if you'd like to see more con content like this, go ahead and uh, subscribe. I'd love to have you to the channel. And thanks for all my viewers for all that you do.